What's poppin' everybody? This is Sabro Fighter 4. I got a few matches in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel using gadgets. This is gadgets basically from when I used them in the XYZ Festival. So, just XYZ's in the extra deck, but it suits gadgets fine since they have a very nice uh, rank 4 toolbox. You can easily get rank 4's out after you summon gold or silver gadget and summon another gadget, and then you can go to a rank 4 and it ensures that you're still gonna plus at the end of the day no matter what happens to the rank 4 the gadget at least it's gonna replace itself okay now my opponent is using blue eyes okay and it's gonna dish out some heavy damage immediately with these big guys and trap trap pick trap hole nightmare is at least gonna take care of this dude that try to search special summon dude that also gives you like a double plus polymerization in another card what the hell Anyway, uh, it's going to be able to get a search anyway, and got the Ritual card, so that's going to be trouble. Uh, thankfully, I got the right Geki, so I can make a move and just take care of this really quickly. Red Gadget, get our search, very good, keep up with the card advantage, and Iron Call, going to get the Green Gadget too. Can't resolve the effect, but I'll be able to inflict a lot of damage to him on an open board. Steal the Blue Eyes White Dragon 2 with Monster Reborn. And I basically have like uh, 6,700 damage with these three three monsters. So that should be good enough. And we're going to go for a rank 4 2 with the gadgets. Have to. Otherwise, Green Gadget is going to die through Iron Call. So do we have a reliable Gear Gigant X? Going to give me another card from the deck so best thing we can do and it's all up to what my opponent is going to do now kind of even a card advantage and it looks like he surrendered surprise surprise um, I don't know what he had but it is what it is just took care of that uh, blue eyes you know if they get out the chaos max track and if after they get him out if you don't stop and when they're going to get him out uh, gadgets can't do anything to that guy at least I don't have anything in the extra deck that can deal with them. So, Virtual World now. A deck that really pisses me off. It's not the, the worst compared to other decks that play for 30 minutes and then summon a bunch of monsters, but it just takes forever. And it's just, it just, it dazzles you with all the monster summoning and stuff. I don't know, just something about looking at these cards really pisses me off. Anyway... So he's getting out, he got out this uh, rank 6 XYZ, which I suppose it's something they can get out as well. Uh, normally they try and get like the true true king of all calamities, Draco, and the other banished synchro dude that acts like a defisher. Okay, a bunch of uh, summoning, and he ended the turn with a back row as well. Uh, we have a pretty nice hand too. I can just summon the gold gadget and go for another summon but it's gonna chain the uh, virtual world gate the trap card it's the one that can basically pop pop my cards so just going all out summoning the silver gadget too and summoning the red gadget and even gonna summon my big boy himself the destroyer dynamo so gonna pop his card and he is gonna activate the effect and he, I think he must have targeted the Destroyer Dynamo, not reading the card. Uh, can't be destroyed uh, by effects if I'm targeted. So, just kill off his dudes. 101, gonna steal his monster too. And poke off some damage. So, some serious pressure here. We managed to make a pretty good response. And as long as a gadget is around, any type of gadget, like even the H&Q gadget you, you guys just saw, uh, destroy it on ammo can't be destroyed by card effects basically so it's very nice indeed okay so he can still do stuff somehow some way even though we some of those monsters these guys just replace themselves too gets the trap card again and I mean I know that he can't synchro since this is the XYZ festival but he is gonna go for another rank I think that's uh, rank 6, rank 5, rank 6. Okay, it's uh, a 3k dude that made all of my dudes 0. Wow. 
Uh, that is unfortunate. Uh, 101 protected himself with his effect, and he went for Sky Thunder too. That's annoying. Uh, this dude can just just send everything to the graveyard, I think. That's a pretty annoying card. Uh, or it can do something to get my shit. I don't know. It's just a bunch of them that's really confusing. I'm just going to pop in with uh, Destroyer Dynamo and set my bottomless trap hole. That's going to do it. So, it's going to top deck the best card you can top deck at this moment anyway, which is the Pot of Desires. I have the Magic Drain ready to go though, so putting in some work. Free Negate, he can't do anything about that. So, he's just going to be stuck with one card on the field. Uh, all of my monsters have zero attack, so I can't really do much, but thankfully I do get the green gadget. Going to pop his trap card too, but can still pop cards with Destroyer Dynamo, even if he has zero attack. And all I got to do now is go to get like a Samurai and just get a mini OTK, you can say. This guy can attack twice, that's why I have him in the extra deck. Low rarity card you can craft uh, and just go for a double attack for the win. Pretty nice. Gadget's putting in the work against Virtual World. Now on to game three. Let's see what we got this time. Gonna open up with a few gadgets, Iron Call and the Ancient Gear Box. Uh, Ancient Gear Box is here because obviously I have an Ancient Gear gadget and I got Ancient Gear Wyvern too, which also acts like a Stratos Searcher, just like the gadgets. And I can get two cards. Get the Ancient Gear Box and then fetch another Aging Gear card, the Aging Gear gadget, essentially. And then I just have extra cards in hand, you know, card advantage, basically. So this guy is playing Dark Lords. Now, Dark Lords, they don't really need to go to the extra deck if they don't want to. I think right now they have, like, the new fusion dudes that are pretty strong. Like the Lucifer Morning, Mor Morning Star fusion dude that looks like the level... 10 level 11 card from Destiny Soldiers. Fantastic set. Um, but obviously he can't do that stuff in the XYZ Festival. So at best we'll see some rank 8s. And if not, he's just going to be beating me down with these big guys. Now I would say this matchup is mostly unfavorable because gadgets can't really, you know, handle too many big monsters like that. Uh, Traditionally, we have lower attack, attack points, and obviously, I go to the extra deck, get rank 4s to deal with uh, problematic monsters. That's the point of the gadgets. But I mean, if he can summon like 4 to 3, uh, you know, big level 8 Dark Lords with high attack, then it's not going to be easy to deal with them. Won't be able to deal with all of them. So he's doing some shit here. Dark Lord Superbria, one of my favorite ones, used it for quite a while. Back in the older days, the days of Mermels, my Dark Creator, Dark Lord deck, when we only had like three Dark Lords back then. Good times. Uh, let's see, Special Summon uh, another monster, a Dark Lord monster when it gets Special Summon from the graveyard. So he's doing some shit, got some big, big guys there, as I feared, and all of these guys are going to give me trouble. Now, thankfully, we do have a little bit of a defense with the Golden Gadget. It's one of those cards that float. He stole it, though. And I don't know what he did. I think he did something. He stole my dude, but then his monsters can't attack. I think it's the Galaxy Dragon there. He did some weird shit. Anyway, I was worried when the Golden Gadget was stolen there. So he's going to go for Maxi here. Ah... Uh, that's very annoying. It means that I won't really be able to do much here. Uh, going to grab a lot of cards thanks to Wyvern. I'm actually going to go for one rank 4 play. You know what? Let's just go for it. It's going to be Thunder Spark Dragon. So I have this guy as a dude that acts like a Dark Hole slash Raigeki in a way. It needs three level 4 monsters, but he can destroy every other monster except himself. So, gets the job done. Uh, I, I guess it's one of the ways we can nuke a, a big board with these big monsters. It's going to go to another galaxy monster. This is the cool one with 4,000 attack. Pretty slick design. Pops cards. Uh, got rid of my dude and he's going to be able to attack for big damage too here. 
Give me a dark world, a dark world, dark lord, not dark world monster, uh, with that other guy, and just 4K. We're halfway dead now. I have a humongous hand, though. Uh, a lot of plays we can do. And destroyer dynamo, just the big monster I need. I guess my kind of big monster weak condition. So iron call, let's go for it. Summon the golden gadget. And summon Destroyer Dynamo 2. He's going to activate a trap card. Kills off the uh, Red Gadget. But I'll be able to poke him for some serious damage here. And unfortunately, Golden Gadget is going to die. But there's a reason why I special summon it without our own call. If that happens, gets destroyed, we get that floating. So I'm looking pretty good here. Six cards, he only has two. I got Destroyer Dynamo, which is my win condition monster. He's still going to keep going. Uh, give me one of the big guys and draw a few cards with uh, Ix Stab, Ix Shell, whatever. Allure Darkness, Monster Reborn card for the Dark Lords. Superb Effect and. That's Amst Amstug. Uh, he can't be activating these effects for too long. Only has 300 life points left. So kill off the red gadget and kill off the silver gadget. Of course, I'm going to get another summon. And he's going to surrender right here, basically. So excellent GG's with the gadgets in the XYZ Festival. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this with all your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. Wadaay!